It feels good to be alive. Something is shifting for the greatest good through you. You might have felt a lot of pressure up until this point. Pressure as in pressure builds diamonds. Pressure as in spirit nudging you in a direction or the process of rebuilding a life being uncomfortable or the process of giving birth to something new, your own state of being, possibly uncomfortable as well, if not painful, while looking back on regret of what you allowed in the past, for example. The time is right now to reveal your truth. The time is right to step forward into what you believe to be true for you, regardless of external circumstances, regardless of how the rational mind or those around you, or more likely those in your past, might belittle you for stepping into this light, this light that you are. Satnam, I'm in Divi here offering a general reading, a collective message, and as always, take what resonates and disregard the rest. I had a deck calling out this morning, so we'll see where the divine wants to take us today. Your angels are watching over you. You might even like feel them covering. Um, I know at one point, and it was more in this house that I was living in, I felt a lot of energy. And when I would tune in with the Kundalini Mantra, I would actually like look behind me because I was like, wow, I just really feel like I had this like pile of people <laughs> back behind me I'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> that was very early into me accepting the idea of something beyond my own thoughts or accepting what I felt and sensed because I had shoved it down and pushed it away for so long I actually ran from it uh, and that that feeling has come back a few times recently and I have even talked to a couple other people that it they seem to be feeling the same they're like Somebody behind me, like, that's your guide team. <laughs> so, I believe they they want you to know that they're near. They want you to know that they're near when you're a top deck, top card, sorry. What do you want? And this is different from what others have wanted from you. How many times have you been exploited for your gifts? I remember one of the many dreams that I took <laughs> but the one at the Edgar Casey Foundation um if I, I might have this story wrong but I feel like um the takeaway I'll get right let's hope <laughs> uh, there was a child and Edgar Casey noticed her gifts and so did the rest of the world and they pulled and they pulled and they pulled from her and it it almost seemed like she went through like torture um in a sense the thought of hysteria is coming to mind of how the divine is quite archaic in the way we handle human nature and this embodiment right and so we don't really accept a reality beyond this concrete understanding that we choose to write in a book right and by that i mean like fictitious law and order as in like what we declare to be true we as in society and rather there's something within you given to you something that moves through you that is grander than what someone can put in that box that can put down on paper that can create a rule around it right you defy all odds right and so when you let go of the fairy tale of who you thought you are or to be what will you choose to become and the divine is right here right with you reminding you each step of the way that they're part of this journey to help you fill your cups to help you fulfill this destiny and it is of your choosing that you create this reality with them and then they continue to pour through you you have free will I, you know what i learned and you know i'm just going through social media that's what I do to make money <laughs> as I do social media marketing for others. Um, I saw Scarlet's Web or Charlotte's Web. Scarlet. It, maybe that's something. <laughs> uh, the Scarlet Letter. Maybe that's what I'm getting this too. Like my 
my words are fumbling those for a reason, so take what resonates, right? Uh, I feel like Charlotte's Web, I thought I saw something today and I didn't read into it because I was just like, ugh, like, uh, it's one of the banned books. I'm like, what? Oh, well, see, society, we can create lots of problems, but it's, there's something coming to completion for you and, and you're traveling beyond, you're traveling beyond this worldly path, this earthly plane and completing cycles, no longer holding on to the past, but aware of what those emotions taught you, aware that those experiences helped you to break free. You do not have to receive every cup of love that's offered to you by grace, by grace. Mm. There is a song Satnatam Kar sings by the grace. And I, I don't know the lyrics because I could never sing along with I just don't have that same resonance even when I try to pretend to sing in my car or something. Eight of Pentacles, there would be success, and I feel like this was in a recent reading as well. It will be reciprocated. Where is there a return? Like, where you pour into, you should be poured back. This is different than tit for tack, but no one should drain you, right? The connections around you should help you to elevate. So when you take a look at who is around you, Right? And so some of this independence is a detachment based on the emotional body's response to the connections, the experiences around you that no longer serve. And so you've been protected by being pulled away from certain circumstances, right? And learning to stand on your own two feet without shame, without shame. Let's take the apples without shame. I'm seeing uh, the part of Wizard of Oz where they're throwing the apples at Dorothy for wanting to eat, for being hungry. Yeah, that feels right for you. But you will be divinely guided to those connections that serve you, but you, you might also come across those who want to distract you as well from your purpose or pull from you for your own gain. So you, it's important, imperative, that you trust your intuitive guidance the nudge that's given to you by the divine and knowing that you will always have what you need. You will always have what you need. <laughs> hmm. I wanted to say knight in shining armor with this and I don't normally get that with this cup but perhaps there is someone interested in you that will fill your cup wholeheartedly and yeah that comes back to trusting your intuition and paying attention to who fills your cup how right and you know there is a balance that's what they want you to be aware of the balance point for that sense of receptivity and the connection that sense of replenishment like you should be replenished from those who love, who love you and then, you know over the span of a connection there might be times months weeks where you're in a patient mode or you're in a giving mode or you're in a receiving mode and over the course of the connection it all balances out because of the seasons of your lifetime but your needs will be met and it's your choosing who will be on your path with you. Sounds like someone's going to be aligned to you or may already be in your life. Um, 34 to seven, learning, learning how to be happy, to come home to yourself. So take that opportunity that feels abundant and true for you. You learned what's like a fraud, right? Well, you're gonna see right past all that bullshit. Unleash your passion. So 37, I kind of like this manifesting based on what you've learned, you know, like allowing a passionate new beginning, allowing a passionate connection that is divinely guided. <sighs> yes, the intensity is off the charts. It's not just you. Miracles happen, miracles happen every day. Give the universe a clear intention. So if you're waffling back and forth, you're not gonna get a clear directive. You're going to get more information for you to process and learn, right? Do you need another lesson or do you need the door opening for you, right? And so as you tune into belief, doors will open for you. If you 
are rattled by the past, you will con continue to <laughs> research. They're going to give you more experiences to research to grow, grow through, right? Are you going to complete the cycle or do you need more to learn from, right? Allow the miracle to unfold, manifest anew. Let go of a fixed plan. So fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Might wanna look at the work of Carol Dweck. Dweck. Allow for spontaneous growth, right? Like let it happen naturally and then on its own timeline. Not your timeline, but divine's timeline. Speaking of which, bottom deck energy and not making that up. <laughs> that really is <laughs> the bottom deck energy. I didn't look before I set these cards out. And I set them out like yesterday. I'm not gonna, I don't always remember <laughs> as much as I like, which is good. Which is really good. Uh, I saw a quote, I went somewhere last week and the quote was like, um, happiness is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poor memory and good health and I was like well I'll be <laughs> I'll take it it made me feel good about my <laughs> my memory or lack thereof music so I'm hearing a song ah ooh, and they're not giving me the lyrics I just got the beat and the feeling so it's like let yourself dance oh and manifest allow that manifestation of abundance because you truly are divine and you deserve to be supported my divine energy in all ways of seeing and believing do hope this serves well sending lots of light love your way